Hi everybody, um, it's me. I'm making this because I've got a, one or two things I want to talk about. Um, it's coming up to December the 5th, which is the anniversary of the death of Lisa McPherson. Um, but it's the time of the year when we have like vigils. And I've discovered these little things here. I don't know if you can see that that's actually lit. Um, it's like, um, it's a candle. Okay. But it's actually electric, so it's not going to blow out in the wind or anything like that. And I paid like, this is like two euro. And I've got a few of these for um, the vigil that I'm planning. Now with regard to the vigil, I've got a, I got this one here which is Heber and Alexander. And I'll be ask, you know, asking, where's Heber and why Alexander? I've got one of Lisa here as well. And again, these frames actually cost me two euro each again. So, so basically I can have each picture with the little candle and it's four euro, you know, and that's, you know, to commemorate the dead. This is Quentin. Very, looking very handsome there and as there's so many people dead in Narcanon I just did this I just copied like the Narcanon deaths um, so that's the few that I've got so far anyway and um, that's what I'll be um, posting as we get to this particular time of the year now I was looking for something um, to take with me like something I printed out mainly by mistake I bought myself a new uh, ink cartridge and I wanted to print out um, <laughs> just two or three pages of like deaths in Scientology but what I did was by mistake I ended up printing the entire document and it was like so many pages that my ink cartridge ran out and I got this wadge of printing but I couldn't find it when I went looking for it. I, I have it here somewhere and I will look for it but I did come across this which is something I printed out a while ago and it's something that you may or may not know and it's an article called How to Talk to a Scientologist by Michael Leonard Tilts, T-I-L-S-E and you can get this online, hang on I'll show you that bit there there, Michael Leonard Tilts, okay you can get this online and why I like this is because um, he talks about how when you are a Scientologist, you won't listen to anybody attacking Scientology because, you know, it's not going to work. Um, this paragraph here. Don't tell them it is not a religion. I do that all the time because it's not. But he says, don't tell them that. A Scientologist will instantly tune you out the moment you say that. After all, they have subjective experience that it is to them completely spiritual and religious in nature. To assert it isn't is to be calling them a liar and denying their own experience. Absolutely so true. Um, the problem is when you do meet a Scientologist face to face it's, it's so difficult to have the self-discipline to control yourself. So really I want to just like come like to the main points of this. Now I do recommend that you read it yourself but the main point is how do you talk to a Scientologist? First, you have to care. You have to care for them. Regardless of what you think about what they believe or do, you have to care. Throw out any bigotry or intolerance you might have and be a caring person. Listen to them. Assure them you only want good things for them. Give them a safe place to visit or come to. I mean, that's fantastic. Now, he also says, just do that just if you just did that you know make yourself available as a safe place and a safe terminal to use Scientology words uh, and I think they'll appreciate that because one of the things my brother said to me um, when we did have a little bit of a spat or was it a conversation I don't know um, it was along the lines of like uh, where, where had I been for the last 20 years? Why did I suddenly care all of a sudden? So I suppose in some ways I had like failed care or something like that going on because maybe there were times in that 24 year Sea Orc stint that he really wanted me and needed me as a brother and I wasn't there for him and you know that breaks my heart to think that my brother 
would have probably been at that awful place that the RPF puts you um, without my help so going back to what Michael's saying we need to care for these people because they do need our help they really do and if you are a Scientologist listen to this just remember all the things that Hubbard said about help those who can help and those who can't help we are actually here to help you what's your church doing for you so how do you talk to a Scientologist with care and understanding and this is the best bit for me now they found a reason to be in it give them the space and time and resources to find a reason to be out of it it's powerful stuff you should read it Michael Leonard tells I hope everybody has um, a great time at the vigils that they're planning we'll certainly be having a great time at our vigils let's go We've got a work to do the job's not done yet Bless you, my friends.